the first thing is that's a legitimate criticism concern. Uh, you ran for mayor, you've come third. Now you just want now you're jumping to be an MP because you want ninety two thousand pound a year salary. Um, you might not win that, then you'll jump somewhere else. So yeah. it, it's it's a valid criticism because I'm always criticising career politicians yeah. um, of, of, of doing these things. So it's a valid criticism. I'm, rem I'm reminded of a very famous interview on Newsnight in the 80s with, I think, John Knott, who was the Defence Secretary for, right. for, um, for the Conservative Party. And the interviewer, it wasn't, it wasn't Jeremy Patson. It might have been Jeremy Patson. He, he said, why, you know, why are you doing this? You're here today, mm. gone tomorrow, yeah. politician, <clears throat> Mr Knott. And he just got up, ripped off his microphone, this guy, and just stormed up. It's quite a famous interview. Oh, I didn't, I'm, not, I'm not seeing that one. So if Jeremy Paxman, yeah. who, by the way, isn't interviewing people anymore, no. if he was, yeah. said, you're just a here today, gone tomorrow, yeah. politician. <clears throat> uh, Nick, how would you answer that question? I would say... Or would you pull, you pull off your microphone no. and storm? I, I would say you may be right, but only time will tell. What I'm doing now and um, what I did in the mayor election was I want to give people a choice. I want to give people a choice of, of how, who you can vote for to get a better country. Now, I may fall flat on my face. I may be elected and fail to achieve anything, but I'm going to try. Now, you asked about the mayor. The mayor is a lot more powerful than an MP. The mayor, like I say, runs the police, runs the fire service, has billions under his budget, uh, extremely powerful. I had a plan of what I was going to do as mayor. If elected as MP, I have no budget, I have no power, um, so the game changes. The aim's still the same, but the game changes. So as mayor, I was going to be a disruptor and use the money and the power I had to disrupt what we've got, improve things and show the country how things can be improved. Mm. I'm going to do a different version of that as MP. I'm going to be a disruptor. So and in, one independent in Parliament changes nothing. But... If we have the general election and Labour and we have a, what's it called, um, Labour they, they don't get a majority and they're looking at... Hung Parliament. Hung Parliament, that's mm. the word I'm looking for. Which then, actually is looking more likely. Which, which, which could be likely. Mm. Um, or if they win by a small majority, three, four seats, ten seats. Um, if you Suddenly win, you become powerful. Because you've got a vote and the, there's deals to be done then. So when Keir Stein is saying, this is my flagship policy and 50 of my MPs aren't going to vote for me, Nick, will you vote for this? And I'll be going, I may do, but I want this for all the meats and saddle with. Mm. And it's in your power. Mm. So you can do that horse trade in there. So I will represent the people of all the meats and saddle with in a powerful position because I'll have a vote in Parliament. Also, what I'll be doing is I'll be shining a light in Parliament on all the waste and incompetence. I will be criticising chamber members. I am not a career politician. I'm not looking for a job in government. I'm not looking to be prime minister. I've not got any party whips above me. I've not got a party boss telling me how to vote and what to say and what not to do. I am going to be a more sensible version of George Galloway. I'll be asking questions, I'll be embarrassing the government, I'll be embarrassing the opposition, I'll be tearing pieces out of people, and I'm going to be their worst nightmare. I'm going to be a politician who doesn't care about their career. Mm. And if, you, if you're if you a politician who doesn't care about your career, you're a dangerous animal. Mm. 